Hey everybody, Chris here, you joint off-road. Been a few weeks since we've put a video out. We've been busy. It's just been um, hard getting the, the builds finalized and getting them out of here. We've had little delays here and there and a few vacations still the guys are taking. So we're cranking, we promise, but we've got three leaving this week. So I'm gonna bomb you with videos over the next few days. So this one is done and ready to go home. We've been giving it road miles. Gonna get the final check on the transmission today and uh, it's ready to go back home to Florida. It's a 2008 5.4 extended body. Got a six inch kit on 37s. So six inch kit with the 37 1250 17 recon grappler all terrain. On some black rhino wheels, excuse me. Customer wanted a dual shock setup. We actually just recently pulled those from the website mainly because getting the shocks has been so difficult. Uh, inventory has been terrible on those and I just got tired of constantly chasing them down and hunting them down and paying crazy prices to find these shocks. So as of now, they're off the site. I'm sure just like everything else I've ever discontinued, I'm going to get 5,000 emails of guys that want it. And uh, so we'll see. We might bring them back. It's kind of up in the air right now. There really, really is no functional upgrade to the dual shock upgrade. Um, it's unless you're really heavy, but if you're really heavy, we've sprung the van properly. So you don't really need the dual shocks for performance. It's mainly for aesthetics and it does look great. So there's the, the low down on dual shock upgrade up front. We've got our FB 004 tube bumper completely loaded up. It's got the four Baja design LP sixes on top. We mixed it up and went with the two clears in the middle and the ambers on the outside. I think it looks great. Uh, regular Baja Design upgrade in the bumper. We just got these bumpers back in production, which is exciting. We had to take a little pause on those too because we our welder left and we had to get a new welder in here and hired and get him up to par, um, which has happened. And now we are starting to, uh, to crank out a bunch of stuff, starting to catch up. Uh, up front, we've got a stage two front axle. It's with the uh, Spintech hub upgrade and I'm sorry, yeah, Spintech hub upgrade and the SSBC calipers and rotors. So you get the eight piston calipers, serviceable wheel bearings, 35 spine stub shafts, all that fun stuff. We went with a 488 gear on this one to help that 5.4 push these 37s around and a Detroit True Track. Uh, up front, that's it. Like I said, the bumper's fully loaded. Got the Anderson plug and the OBA port right there. This does have our onboard air system on it. On the side, we've got our aluminum side steps, got the Bushwhacker flares. The transmission did come out for a full rebuild and four-wheel drive conversion. So this one's running a 475 transmission. And behind that, we mounted an NV271 with 1350 CV drive shafts front and rear. Underneath, we have the shortened fuel tank. And you can see the OBA compressor and the tank. You can see those red SSBCs our transmission cross member for the five fours uh, custom spec springs front and rear as always fox 2.0s in the back it's got s pod controlling the oba and all of the lights um, this van came with this roof rack uh, we did not put that on and it is noisy the customer told me as soon as he dropped it off he said i hate this roof rack it's super noisy and then i drove it and it's yeah it's pretty bad this is the reason why we don't put our racks all the way to the front of the windshield. They're just too noisy. If you set them back a little bit, the air comes up over the windshield and basically misses the rack and you don't even know it's there. Out back, stock semi-float Dana 60 with an ox locker. We got our rear bumper. Got the Pelican and the 37 mounted. You see the rigid reverse and running lights that we wire up. And there's a rear OBA port. We also went with a rear skid on this, so you can mount some batteries and goodies under there. Uh, and it does have the underfloor storage. We also buried his trailer plug in the bumper for a nice clean look. So that's it for this one. It's going home later this week. I really like the way it turned out. I'm usually not a big fan of these lined vans. This has some, it's a Raptor liner. I'm not sure what the color is. I'll put it in the comments um, once I ask the customer. But I'm usually not a fan of these things, but this van just uh, turned out really nice.
All right, well, that's it for this one. Got any questions, leave me in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Thanks for watching as always, and uh, see you guys soon.